and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for a special edition of the stream today. We have the Arena Mythic Championship Qualifier, which we are going to be playing here with Teamer Elementals. We tried a few different Risen Reef decks last night, mostly some different Sultai builds, and none of them really felt good enough, uh, you know, consistent enough. We didn't have that great of a day last night. Got all of our losses out of the way to help us out for today. Hey, Sir Tails. Thanks so much for the resub there. And the tier two resub. Well, thank you so much there, Sir Tails. Okay, so what we have, so we're switching it up. We're audibling, which that's not always a good, great thing to do, but you know, we're doing it. So we're going with Teamer Elementals. Um, one, the, the thing that I was mostly worried about with Teamer, so I'm worried about beating Vampires with a Teamer deck. I think Vampires is probably going to be a very popular deck. I, I don't love the, the Vampire matchup, but what I'm doing to hedge towards it is we have two Entrancing Melodies in the main deck that can steal a Danto Vanguard. Um, and, you know, like Red Removal, because Red Removal doesn't kill the Danto Vanguard. So we have Melodies to be able to take Vanguard. Um, plus, Melody can also take like Knight of the Ebon Legion for only three mana, which is pretty big game. So we got two of those in the main. I have a third one in the sideboard as well. And we also have a Spyglass that's for that matchup and for Scape Shift. I like Spyglass a lot because Spyglass can is like our answer to Soren. You know, like Soren is another card that like here we just don't really have good answers to Soren at all. Um, where Spyglass can can name Soren and. Uh, stop that but then also if if they have like a bunch of adanto vanguards and no soren we can also just have spyglass name adanto vanguard so they don't get to um activate the adanto vanguard anymore or of course we could also name knight of the ebon legion if need be or if we really need to um adanto the first fort but but you know mostly it's going to be for soren there and again scape shift um i'll be playing the spyglass as something they can name to fairy so that they can't instant speed um scape shifts there or we have all the blood suns in here for the scape shift matchup we kind of have like those four slots where we can have for for combo decks so i'm going all out against field of the dead so we have four blood suns which means i am going to be weak to nexus because you know you could also be playing cinder vines there uh, if you expect a lot of nexus so you know we could have the anti Nexus card with Cinder Vines, or the anti Field of the Dead card with Blood Sun. It's it's kind of hard to play both. Um, so Nexus is is definitely going to be a deck that I'm going to be weak against. Um, my plan is you know the negates in here, uh, and uh, really just trying to ramp into Chandra. That's my plan against Nexus. Try to ramp into Chandra, give them emblems. Um, it's not a great plan, but that's my plan. Spyglass can can also help slow them down. Um, but yeah, so against, uh, flame sweeps, you know, pretty good against vampires, mono red, uh, escape shift that makes the zombies, everything like that. So against the aggro decks, we have that, um, trying to have a good amount of removal and here, see here with a couple coil strikes, you know, trying, and then sideboard also having a coil flame sweeps melody, trying to have a good amount of removal for aggro decks. Cause I think aggro decks are really good. Um, Chandra is just insane with risen reef. Uh, besides that, Chandra can recast Coil Strike Melody. Chandra is good at pressuring Little Teferi and Narset. Uh, so the extra Chandra is coming in against Control from the sideboard uh, here. So yeah, that's that's what we have. Um, let's see how it works. So we're going to play this Mythic Championship Qualifier. All right, so how this works is... We get to play until we hit 10 wins or two losses, whichever one happens first. So hopefully we get a lot of wins. Uh, this is this is only the second Mythic Championship qualifier we played on Arena. Last time was like three months ago. We played Grixis Control, and we started off 4-0, and then I and then I lost two in a row. I'm pretty sure that's how it went. I think so. I think we went 4-2. Um, maybe maybe I went like 5-2. I don't remember. Um, Anyway, here we go. So we're going to choose our deck, Teamer Elementals, and let's get started. Hey, good morning, Micah Boss.
No, I'm not. I'm not planning on doing any kind of delay thing. You went one and two, Jacob. That's. I mean, that. Yeah, that's. That can happen. Like these. This is definitely a tough tournament. Um. Not a mulligan, but you can see how like Chandra without Risen Reef isn't spectacular. Hopefully, we draw Risen Reef. I was two levels away from this from this kitty cat, and so I I spent the 500 gems for the kitty cat because the kitty cat came with um, really because the the cat came with a, a mastery orb that I needed to get the card style for the Omnath, so we could have all the card styles. <laughs> so yeah, it was, it was 500 gems for the two levels. One level was 200 gems anyway, so I got 200 of the gems back. And then had to have the card style. We are just helping our opponent out here. We've already taken four damage from our mana base. Why is this so laggy today? What is this, like, morning lag? Is it... Is it this arena? Thing? Is it because I'm streaming early in the morning? Yeah, is it is it because there's so many people on on arena right now? Is everybody else having this problem? Okay, so it's it's because of this tournament there's so many people on arena right now. So many users. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> yeah, Storm, I, I can see you there. There you are, right over there. Or maybe maybe y'all are back here actually. Okay, not playing the Runaway Steamkin. Okay, I'll take that. All right, Nissa. Help finish this one out for us. You know what's better than having a plan? Basically, anything. We have Melody in here. I steal the 2-1 because 
the 2-2 two -two will just turn into a 1-2 on my side. All right, Storm. Take care. Thanks, Papa Tim. Yeah, I'll get Deckmaster up. All right, looks like we're going to get game one. Attack in. Say hi to my fiery friends. Except for you, Leafkin. You don't get to attack. <laughs> no, I'm I'm on the East Coast, Joko. It's ten twenty-three in the morning right now. All right, so against Mono Red, let's have Lava Coil, couple Flame Sweeps. Frenzy is going to be great against me. I do like Negates against Mono Red. The Chandras are going to be a big problem, too, if they're playing Chandras. I could play Spyglass to try to, like, preemptively to try to stop Chandras. Hey, Kazunato. Okay, we're going to try this. I used to I used to live in DFW and I'm planning on moving back eventually, but I don't live there right now. It's not my current location. We didn't, yeah, we didn't, we never played the teamer deck last night. Uh, kind of ran out of time when we were playing the other decks. But this is what we would have played last night if we did. This could be rough. Thanks, Jeremy. It was either put back the Omnath or put back the Negate. So 
a good sign for us. Nothing happening so far. The, naked, the negate could stop a frenzy or a Chandra. But Nissa's pretty important in this matchup of just making threat after threat after threat. Gives us a fast clock to win the game. So they have four cards left. Good. I like seeing another land. And that is what we needed. That is one thing we certainly needed to. Through this land, we are all connected. Counter. Hoping they don't have another one. So two, four, six, seven, eight, ten. You can go eight, eight, crisis. Or I can do 6-6 six, six, Krasis and Lava Coil, the Chain Whirler. I will endure. Or 10-10 ten, ten, Krasis. Be wary of the ground you walk on. So 8-8 eight, eight plus Coil or 10-10. 8-8 ten, ten. Eight, eight doesn't quite have a two-turn clock, but with pairing with these other things, it should. I'm going to go 10. Let's go 10. Y'all like to 8 8 coil? Alright, Thrice, sorry to hear that. Alright, we got a. We got a win. And we're on the board. Okay. Want to know? Um, not no. Mono Red doesn't have the best matchup against Scape Shift and Vamps. I think, like, I think it should be playing for Blood Sun in the sideboard, and that makes the Scape Shift like. Yeah, having like four Blood Sun. So it has a pretty good scape shift, but not necessarily vampires. Vampires can have a whole lot of really good cards against Mono Red. It, it basically kind of depends on like what the vampire opponent, like the vampire player is actually playing. All right, we're going to need to hit some land drops here.
the one bad thing about having like the higher level cats is you don't get to choose what cat you want. Like you, like if you, we have like the level three cat here. I can't just choose to play like the level one or level two cat if I wanted to. You just don't have the choice. I can't really kill Soren this turn. I can kill Soren next turn. So they get another Soren activation. Show some respect. They have to chump block here. Wow. Not chump blocking. Wow. They would they want to keep that one one around. Depart Innistrad immediately. Melody token strike wouldn't have killed Soren. Soren had five loyalty. That would have just been one one damage from the Risen Reef, three damage from the lightning strike. That's only four. Soren had five loyalty. Okay, so we need to uh, strike Soren and uh, steal Aspirant and then just play Land War Elf. I'm thinking steal Aspirant because it's the flyer, but I guess I could steal Knight of the Ebon Legion also. I'm certainly going to kill this thing. That's going to happen. Vengeance will come for you one day. Yeah, it, bas it basically doesn't... Yeah, I can play this first, and then... Like, I, I'm going to have the one extra mana that I don't need to use. Um, I guess we take... I guess I take this thing. Because I do have these that will block the flyer. We'll take that thing. Because that thing's really annoying to try to block. We're taking an extra three damage here. Oh, come on. A third Soren? If you threaten Innistra, Ugh. I will. Thirst for life. That's rough. That was a great turn for them.
going to have the Leafkin Druid be able to chump block the Champion of Dusk here. Hey, track team. Yeah, dealing with Soren is hard. And we we dealt with one with Omnath, and I was feeling good. And then they, they had a second one. I was like, all right, we got the strike. We're good. Having the third one. That hurts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'll do. So one, two, one, two, three, four, So they have one turn to kill me here if they have the fourth Soren. Yay, no fourth Soren. Hey, three man, thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. Welcome. All right, two, three, four, five. So the two pays for that. So we just have three, six, eight. So we have eight here. And we're going to be winning a longer game. There's just no reason to risk our life total anymore. We don't need to... Don't need to attack with either of our flyers here. <laughs> uh, thanks, three man. Very kind of you. Thank you so much. All right, they're refilling. Time, yeah, we're gonna, you know, double Risen Reef, Leafkin Druid, re completely refill over here as well. Look for another Krasis. That hurt. That was a, that was a good turn. All right, that was a great turn. Okay, that one's good. Speaking of good ones. Two, three, four. So you can do six damage. Yay. Hmm. 
So we're down to 24 cards. I mean, so I, I could play Krasis now, or I could take a turn of just playing all these land war elves and leafkin druids and just drawing millions of cards and having, like, millions of mana. Do certainly need to worry about milling out, though. So maybe it's better just to play Krasis. I'll play Krasis for, like, eight. Uh, tap all of these. No, I wanted... I wanted to tap all of my blue-red lands. Because I just want to throw... I want to throw a whole bunch of these things out there. I guess I... So what, I have five mana... I guess I could play a Nyssa. No, we're going to have to discard four cards. Let's just get these things out here. Hopefully it lands, because if it's not, we're just discarding cards. All right, but then Omnath draws cards too. All right, so 14 cards. Definitely considered just sending in the Risen Reefs there. One, you know, one dies. So yeah, minus three Chandra will... Okay. They give up. Alright, we got game one against Vampires. Good sign. Entrancing Melody was amazing. Lava Coil was quite good as well. Having that Lightning Strike was clutch, killing a, a Soren. Let's get a Spyglass in here. So this is 63. So Flame Sweeps... See, the thing is, I just don't know what I'm supposed to be taking out. I guess I guess the Leafkin Druids. Yeah, Vale, vale is awesome against their removal. But it's, it's all about, like, what am I supposed to be taking out? Could take out, like, Leafkin and Chandra. Chandra has a lot of the good things to minus. And then play, like, a couple Flame Sweeps. I'm gonna take out take out Lanwar Elf instead of Leafkin. Do I want to play Veil of Summer instead of Flame Sweep? Maybe I take out Lanwar Elf instead, with Leafkin, you know, being important for Omnath, Risen Reef, all that kind of stuff.
yeah, Flame Sweep is basically only good in the opening hand. I agree with that. Because, yeah, their, their creatures can get really big. Yeah, I know Veil is very good, but I don't see anything that I want to take out for Veils. But I know Veil is very good. I like Veil a lot. But you gotta have you gotta have a lot of creatures. We can't, you know, we can't just like cut down on having no creatures because then Veil doesn't do anything. So we gotta have a lot of creatures, and I want to have like this removal as well. Hey Rex. Hey Radical Guru. Hey Blind. Welcome everybody. Thanks for bringing the hype. Can we draw a flame sweep, please? Hmm. Even Gideon, like, it really isn't even that good. Gideon still gets to attack. Just doesn't activate. I should, you know, I kind of realized that a little too late. Gideon doesn't even like naming Gideon doesn't even help me. Gideon's going to kill me. Going down to one here. I am here to aid in the assault. Gosh, not of the Evan Legion. Why do you gotta be a four five? the darkness Ugh. all right so as long as they don't draw Soren either this draw step or next draw step we're good darn it that means they drew Soren come on Uh, I should have named Soren with Spyglass. I messed that up. Naming Gideon didn't matter. So the Cavalier, when it was going to die, I was going to be able to grab a second coil. So like the next turn, I was going to be able to double coil that, that other thing, and then I would have had the Omnath back. So they had two draws to draw Soren there. 
Gosh, I messed up that spyglass. I just saw the Gideon, saw them like not have cards. Got excited, but yeah, naming Gideon didn't matter. All right, so do we want Veil of Summer over anything? I'll take out one Chandra for a Veil of Summer. The Veil is pretty nice. That is true. They didn't. They didn't get to give naming Gideon did mean they didn't get to give one of their creatures indestructible. I don't feel good about this hand winning at all. Man, that really... Man, that's really a bummer, that last game. I mean, it's one of the three blue cards that I'm putting back. Melody is just so important. I know we need two blue sources though. Like I don't I don't really like my chances of this winning. I guess we do it though. Melody was like maybe the best card in the hand, but we just don't have blue. That second game. Definitely full of, full of regret. That game too. If my opponent just didn't draw Soren in two draw steps though, I had it. But they did. That's magic. No, let's get rid of breeding pool. Wait, yeah, yeah, that works. Yeah. I'm gonna keep double red here for like Acolyte of Flame and stuff. So we have double red and double blue still.
certainly, certainly considering not paying two life to play Llanowar Elf here. Because of Firebrand being able to just kill the Llanowar Elf. But that does still... You know, even if they go with that, that hurts their ability to light up the stage and things like that. Good. Not good at all. Hey, Prugor. Thanks so much for the sub there. I appreciate that. Sub number five on the day. Why Shockland? I think this is my best chance of winning the game, even though this means that we're dead to a 3 damage burn spell. You've got to be kidding me. Uh, I guess it's still... they still kill me. I was like, what are they doing? Like, they just kill me. Yeah. All right, those Risen Reefs are out. So we did last time against Red. This is not good. All because of my spy got glass play, now it's just all downhill.
Hey, Serious War, good morning. This is definitely a really good sign for us. They didn't have that extra land. So they are going to be relying on Steamkin for mana, and we can take the Steamkin. Melody has been one of our best cards for sure. Well, awesome, Sirius War. Thanks for continuing that gifted sub. Alright, Nissa ends the game faster than Cavalier does. We still have the two blockers. We can still cast the Cavalier the next turn with Nissa in, in play here. So going with the Nissa. Very bad sign. We're just dead to any three damage burn spell now, unless we draw Krasis. Which we did not. Cool. Well, I'm dead, Vitellius. I have been eliminated. This is all going so great until like that that game that I really didn't think we were gonna lose to vampires. We lost that, and then just everything. The wheels just went off. So there we go. Mono red, vampires mono red. It's definitely scared of aggro. But what are you gonna do? <laughs> um I like the list that we have here, even even against that aggro like that. Um you know, I think if I if I make a different play there. You know, so like we went one and one against Mono Red. Like those those decks are really good. We're not gonna we're not gonna win all the time against aggro. Our hands there in games in the second match wasn't weren't so good there against the red deck, you know, the mold of five and stuff. But so yeah, we went one one against red. Which makes it you know, that's you know, going five hundred against red is you know, perfectly fine for this deck. That loss against Vampires, though, we won game one, and I should have won game two. 
I just messed I messed up game two. That was my fault. So that happens. You can't when you only have two losses, you can't throw away a game like that. Um, no, I, this is not no like Tamio. You just don't need Tamio in here. You already have a lot of card advantage and everything, and and Tamio doesn't help you against like those like the decks that the decks that this deck loses to are aggro and combo, and and Tamio's not helping you with those. But I do, I do have, did have a good amount of anti-combo stuff in here. And as you can tell, my, my sideboard is basically all anti-aggro or anti-combo besides the Vela Summers um, and the Chandra. Besides those three cards, everything else is aggro or combo. And Tamiya just doesn't help you there. Um, but, oh well. That's it here for the Teamer Elementals. So we'll get them next time. But it didn't work for us this time. I think I liked I liked the, the list that we had here. I liked how I liked all of the anti-aggro stuff we had in the list. Uh, the entrancing melodies were awesome. Really glad we were playing those in the main deck. They were great. But you know, it doesn't always work out for you. All right, um, so if you're watching the video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it. Sorry I didn't do better. But if so, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons over on the YouTube channel. But that's our MCQ with Teamer Elementals. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.